Hi, I'm Rainey from the Satbone Shop team. Today, we'll be talking about the Iridium Go Exec. The Iridium Go Exec is a game changer for anybody traveling remote outside normal mobile phone coverage who need access to voice calls, light web browsing, and the ability to be able to send and receive emails with attachments. With the Go Exec, you have multiple ways that you can connect. You can connect with your smartphone via the Go Exec app. You can also connect with your laptop, both via Wi-Fi. With your laptop, you can also connect via the dedicated ethernet port and once connected, you'll have access to two dedicated voice lines, so you can support two concurrent calls at the same time. It has a full color screen with an inbuilt hands-free speakerphone, so you can actually use the device without your smartphone or laptop for calls. It supports data at 88 kilobits download and 22 kilobits upload. It has an inbuilt rechargeable battery which supports up to 24 hours of standby and six hours of talk time. It can also be used to recharge your smartphone if it's flat. It's small and compact and can easily be carried in a backpack on your next adventure. The Go Exec has an IP rating of IP65, which means it's water and dust resistant. To use your Go Exec, you have a couple of choices. You can use your smart device, by downloading the free Iridium Go Exec app from either the Apple or the Android store. And then you can connect to your Go Exec via Wi-Fi, or you can use your laptop and you can connect via Wi-Fi or via the direct ethernet port. Once connected by either device, you'll have access to all the menu options across the bottom here, which allows you to make phone calls via the two dedicated voice lines Connect to the internet, so for some light web browsing. Utilize the SOS feature in the event of an emergency. And then via the settings tab, adjust all your specific requirements on how you want your Go Exec to work. And the menu option on the app is exactly the same as on the unit itself. So once you're familiar with that, you'll be able to easily navigate either on the app or on the device itself. The first time you switch on your Go Exec, you will be prompted on your smartphone app to do a firmware upgrade. So it's important to make sure that you have access to your Wi-Fi network or your mobile network for the firmware upgrade to be downloaded. This is important, so to do it before you do your adventure and you're relying on the satellite network. So once the firmware is uploaded on the smartphone, the app will automatically download that to your Go Exec. And once it's done, then you'll be ready to continue setting up your Go Exec ready for use. When using your Go Exec for messaging, you can use many third party apps. For example, you could use WhatsApp to send messages to family and friends while traveling. And then with the web browsing, you can also surf the internet and get content whilst you're traveling to keep in touch with family and friends. In the event your smartphone or laptop don't have power, the Go Exec can be used standalone for both calls and SOS. The SOS feature can be activated on the unit itself, which along with its inbuilt GPS will send an emergency location and call a emergency response center that will be able to attend to your emergency very quickly. When using your Go Exec, you need to make sure that you're in a large open area. Satellite does require a direct line of sight between the satellite and the device itself. So when setting up as a simple quick check, hold your thumb up at your normal height and just go around in 360 degrees. If there's anything excessive above the height of your thumb, that may potentially block your connection with the Go Exec. Okay, let's talk about the various ports that are available on the Go Exec. Starting at the left, the first port there is your SOS button. So in the event of an emergency and you don't have your smart device handy, this is the button that you'll press 
the next port there is your SIM slot. So this is where your service SIM card will be installed. Um, no need to really ever change that. The next one there is your Ethernet port, so for your laptop. If you don't want to connect via Wi-Fi, you can connect directly via the Ethernet port to the GoExec for your laptop. Here is your power charging, so once your battery gets run down, or if you're using it consistently, you can have it connected to the 240, the car charger, or you know, with a good size power bank. The next port over there is uh, for a digital headset, if you want to uh, carry on a, a meeting, and you also have the ability there, this is where you would charge your smart device in the event that the, your phone is uh, lost power. So the GoExec will recharge your smartphone, provided it has at least 20% battery left. So that's a great little backup there. And then lastly, you have, if you're using an external antenna kit, this is where you will connect an external antenna to the GoExec, and then that allows your GoExec to be used indoors nice and dry away from all, all the weather. When using data, your GoExec will first be set up with an open profile. That will give you access to anything on the internet. It's recommended that you choose this option and select just the websites and apps that you want to use. You can also check your data usage. So you can keep tabs on exactly how much data you're using in both sending and receiving, again, to avoid that excess usage and any large unexpected bills. When using your GoExec, if you need to change any of the features, you can do that by selecting the settings key. You can change display settings, audio settings, date and time settings. GoExec does support other languages the location format, which is your GPS location, your GPS antenna configuration, device power settings, admin settings, powering off the device, device information, so that'll give you information about your device, being the IME number, and any system errors and warnings. So if you're experiencing any issues with your GoExec, you can check any errors that have been happening via that selection and then just about your device. If you need to change any of the settings on your GoExec, you can do that by selecting the fourth tab, which is your settings tab. Once in the tab, you can change things like display settings, adjust the brightness. You can also adjust your audio settings so your ring volumes, your device volumes, you can change to various ringtones. When using the GoExec app, on the settings, you have some additional features that aren't on the unit. You have some help support. You have first time user tips. You have your terms and conditions if you need support. Email logs if you're having any trouble to email support and your licenses. Your configuration for the device are under this tab. So you have your admin settings, your location settings, and your power control settings. Under admin settings are similar to the device itself where you can see your Wi-Fi settings, which will show you all your Wi-Fi details and your password. You have your QR code to scan if you're connecting from a smart device, your billing and data monitor, so where you can see your usage and manage your usage carefully. Your web app profiles. So this is where you would select the apps and the websites that you want to use, avoiding any excess usage and giving access to those that you don't want to have access to. Your device access control. So who can connect? Again, controlling your usage and some more technical ones like your DNS caching your DHCP settings, your quick dials, so setting up your quick dial numbers for regularly called numbers, your call history, and your SOS settings and device info. You can also set an admin pin and if a software update is required and you can also power off the device. It's worthwhile being familiar with the device settings that are available on the GoExec app.